There are good perks and there are okay perks, but then there are the best perks in Cyberpunk 2077. Today I'm going to break down what are the strongest and the best perks in the game. The ones you should consider going for when you're upgrading your character or creating a build. So let's go ahead and talk about them. This is Laserbolt, and today, guys, we are gonna be talking about the perks. Yes, guys, not only are we gonna be talking about the perks, we're actually gonna be talking about what I believe are the strongest perks in the game and the ones you should always consider having if you're gonna go ahead and deposit some points into your skill tree. Now, as you guys know, in Cyberpunk 2077, you're gonna be able to, you know, kind of just go 20, 20, 20 on just three categories this is depending on your skill build i went a lot on, i have t like three builds already so i have this one which is going to be my crafting build which i'll have a video for i have a solo build that's coming out today you guys are definitely not going to want to miss that one and then i also have a tech build which i'll show you guys exactly how we're going it's just different characters but i wanted to share you guys what i believe to be the best parts in every single category we're going to get started from here and then move all the way around we're going to get started with the body which i believe should be the one you should be focusing on if you guys want to get a certain build and we'll talk about builds a little bit later let's take a look dive into these perks and we're going to start off with the athletics perk so the first perk i want to mention is called divided attention this is going to allow you to reload your weapon while sprinting sliding and vaulting extremely important especially in this game where there's a lot of parkour mechanics there's a lot of times when you're getting shot and you're about to die you need to jump over and instead of having to press that x button or the reload button all you got to do is jump over or vault over and your weapon will automatically reload for you. Definitely a high tier perk for me, in my opinion, and one you should always pick up if you're going through athletics. The next one I want to mention, guys, is called Marathoner. And this one in particular is one that's going to allow you to sprint and it's going to allow you to sprint and not drain your stamina. Now, the stamina is extremely important because you want to make sure you always keep it up and having the ability to run without draining it and unlimitedly running is going to be extremely important in this game and one that's definitely one of the best ones in this category the other one i want to mention is called indestructible this is going to reduce all incoming damage by 10 percent definitely you guys got to pick this but remember this is going to require level 20 so you're going to definitely have to dump in 20 points into body to actually be able to obtain it but definitely one that you need to pick up the other one i want to recommend and that you're actually able to pick up pretty early it's invincible this is going to increase your max health by 30 percent this is going to be gradually though it starts with 10 then it goes to 20 then it goes to 30 and those are believe I, I believe are the strongest perks in this category now there are some a tier type of perks here that are really good but i believe these are the strongest ones which i would classify them as s tier perks now it's going to be it for the athletics so let's go to annihilation and see what perks are available there the first one i want to recommend is this one called speed demon you're going to be dealing more damage the faster you're moving so as you're moving the more you're moving the more damage you're going to be outputting which is actually pretty good the other one i want to mention is called popping off this is going to give your shotgun has a 25 percent higher chance of dismembering enemies really good and you're going to see why because i'm actually going to tie this one to another one that's going to make this even more crazier and that guys is unstoppable dismembering an enemy increases the fire rate by 10 percent for a second it stacks up to three times so your shotgun is going to be like that instead of that that it's going to be that 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 this is going to be dismembering people crazy 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 and the shotguns are really op when paired together with this build in addition to that there are some weapons that dismember enemies really quick and you guys are definitely going to want to pair these together so this is definitely falling on the s category for perks the next one i want to talk about is this right here which is the uh it's going to be level 14 manic which it says when entering combat your movement speed is increased by 20 percent for 10 seconds every time you enter combat you're going to be mobile you're going to be agile and if you pair that with some athletic perks that are going to make you even more mobile and more agile and allow you to reload while you're vaulting and jumping this is actually a perfect combo these are definitely the s tier perks in this category let's go ahead and check out street brawler so the perk, first perk we're looking at here is called Days, and th these actually synergize so well that these are considered S tier because put together, they're amazing. All right, so we have Days allow attacks with blunt weapons to have a 15 chance to apply a stun. Now remember, this one goes up two levels, so you're going to have 15, and then you're going to have 30%. So 
basically that 30% stun is going to be increased with also other mods and perks on different weapons that you're able to apply. You get this all the way almost up to 100% on stun. So this is actually a really good one. But let's pair it up with another one that's going to make this even better. And that is called Opportune Strike. This is increases your damage with blunt weapons against enemy affected by stun by 50%. So think about it this way. You're going to be stunning people. In addition to that, when you stun them, you're going to be increasing that damage by 50% when they are stunned. Extremely awesome, extremely crazy, and really OP. The other one that's S tier category is called Trash, which is called Strong Attacks with Blunt Weapons Reduce the Target's Armor by 30% for 30 seconds. So really, really crazy, guys, because just off that one swing, you're going to be reducing 30% of their armor. That is crazy, crazy good, and one you guys are definitely going to have to put in here for the Brawler Tree. The next one you want to have in here is called Frenzy. Now, this one's actually pretty good because since when you're fighting multiple enemies, defeating an enemy increases your damage with a blunt weapon by a hundred yes you heard it because a hundred percent did i say that correct a hundred percent of for 10 seconds so really really crazy if you pair this with the with the uh stun one that's 150 damage guys you guys are gonna be doing so much damage when you put these uh you know when you apply these perks correctly and that pretty much covers the body uh portion for our best perks Let's go into Reflex, which is where I know a lot of you guys are interested in weapons. So let's go ahead in here and take a look what I could consider to be the uh, S tier perks for this one. So the best perks found here. All right, so in the Assault column, guys, the first one I want to recommend, which I believe to be S tier, is called Named Bullets. It increases, it increases your critical damage with a rifle and submachine gun by a whopping 35%. Crazy, crazy good. Crazy OP. Extremely powerful. One that you have to get. It's like a requirement if you're running assault rifles and SMGs. Really, really powerful. The other one I want to talk about is called long shot rifle and submachine gun damage is increased the farther you are located from your enemy. So the longer distance you have, the more damage you're gonna be outputting. Really crazy good. So it's gonna allow you you're pretty much always like away from the enemy. So what advantage does it give you to actually output more damage the further you out? Really, really crazy good one. And one that you should definitely get pick up. The other one I want to recommend is Savage. This is actually pretty crazy because this is going to increase your damage with rifles and submachine guns by 35% when you're standing still. So if you're standing still and you're shooting your weapon, ba -ba 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 -ba, boom, 35% just like that. And remember, you get the na name, uh, pretty much the name bullets. That's that's a whopping 75%. I mean, 70% just by standing still and shooting your gun. Really crazy. Really OP. And one you definitely have to put as as, as here for this uh, for this category. And the other one I want to recommend is called Executioner. It is going to deal twenty five percent more damage with rifle and submachine guns to enemies whose health is above fifty percent. So this is going to allow you to kind of shred them really fast and then finish them off. Really effective. Definitely one you have to put here in the S category. So that's assault rifles. Let's take a look at handguns and see what we have there. The first one we want to take a look at is called Wild West which removes the damage penalty from a pistol and revolver when shooting from distance. Really important, guys, because we do get that damage fall off, but we're able to negate that by using the Wild West one, which we're technically always going to be shooting uh, people, at, not always, but the majority of the time, from longer distance with a revolver and a pistol. There's going to be really important to negate the damage drop-off and keep the damage output. The next one is called Westworld, and this is going to increase critical chance from pistols and revolvers by 10% if fully modded. So if your gun is fully modded, you're gonna be able to get increased critical hit chance from your revolver and your pistol. Really OP. And of course, who doesn't want an all kitted out pistol or, or revolver? Come on now. The next one I want to recommend is called Brain Power. This is actually pretty OP and crazy, guys. After a successful headshot with a pistol or revolver. Now remember, you guys saw my uh, headshot auto headshot build or weapon, not build, but weapon think about it this way after a successful headshot with a pistol revolver critical chance increased by 25 percent for five seconds oh my goodness it should be illegal come on now now i believe those are the best ones in the hand cannon category of course there are a tier ones like for example rio bravo and i knew like in other categories but i believe those are the most powerful ones for the hand cannons that you definitely have to have uh regardless of anything now let's take a look at the blades the first one we're going to take a look at is called blessed blade which is going to increase your critical chance with blades by 20 percent 
Come on now. There's definitely there's there's a, a must. Come on. All right. So let's take a look at the next one. The next one is called Fiery Blast, which is going to increase your damage with blades by one percent for every one percent of health the enemy is missing. So remember, you're slicing and dicing. Every time you're doing that, that's going to be one percent, one percent, one percent multiplicative. It's going to be crazy, crazy OP. So Fiery Blast is definitely one that has to go in this category. The next one is called Death Bolt. We should have just been called laser bolt. Just saying, come on, Cyberpunk, get your game in the game. Come on. While wielding a blade, defeating an enemy restores 20% health and increases movement speed by 30% for 5 seconds. Really good. It's kind of that leecher effect, that vampire build. And you get your health back. So really cool. The next one we have is called Crimson Dance. And this is going to apply bleed effect. So every time you do a combo with a blade, you have a 50% chance to apply bleed and if you're not running bleed or a burn in your blade, you're not running it correctly. So definitely has to go in the S category. And that pretty much wraps up the uh, the uh, you know reflex one. Let's go to uh, technical abilities and see what I recommend to be the uh, best perks in here. All right, so let's start off with the first one, which is waste not want not, which is gonna give you the ability to disassemble disassemble an item, and it's gonna allow you to get the attach mod back. This is extremely important, guys. Because the majority of the time, if you're disassembling something, you're going to lose that mod. You do not want to lose mods. You want to make sure you keep them. So make sure you guys definitely pick this one up. I know a lot of you guys haven't gotten into crafting, but crafting is like almost a requirement in this game. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. The next one I want to recommend is the 200 efficiency. It says crafting close gains you 2.5 more armor. Really important. And this one actually, you're able to scale up twice. So you're able to go to 5% more armor every single time you craft, the night, you craft an item. And you will be crafting a lot, guys. If you plan on crafting, you have to get this one. The next one I want to recommend is Field Technician. Once again, it's very similar to the armor one. This is going to allow you to, when you craft the weapon, you're going to get 2.5 more damage. Very similar if it goes up all the way up to 5. So 5% more damage when the weapon has been crafted. The next one I want to recommend, if you guys are running a crafting build, this is a requirement because you want to make sure you're able to craft legendary items extremely important guys you want to make sure you're able to craft you know your legendary items 100 percent. so this is definitely a requirement if you plan on picking this one up the next one guys i want to recommend is called cutting edge what this is going to allow you to do it's that it's going to allow you to improve the damage and all damage related stats all damage related stats so crit damage headshot damage all the damage stats to crafted weapons by five percent definitely you have to pick this one up really op and of course there are some other ones that are really good but i consider those to be the best ones for crafting let's take a look at the engineering screen uh tree and then we'll we'll give you guys a quick breakdown of which ones i believe to be the best all right so in this one we don't have that many we have the first one which is called lightning bolt which should have been called laser bolt come on game lightning bolt increases critical chance with 10 tech weapons by 10 percent really important because it's going to fare perfectly with the next one i want to recommend which is going to allow us to ignore armor, which is called Superconductor. Tech weapons ignore armor. Extremely OP, extremely important. And those are the two that I kind of want to recommend here, which I believe are extremely OP. There are a lot of A tier ones, but I think these are going to be the ones that are going to give you the most benefit out of all of them. But I did want to recommend another one now that I think about it, which is called Liquidly Split. And this is going to allow you guys to reduce the charge time of the weapon there are some weapons that are going to require a charge time and anything that reduces that which allows you to be engaged quicker i think it's really good in my book so tech weapons charge time is reduced by 10 percent is able to scale up all the way to two so you should be able to get this to 20 percent on scaling which is extremely op all right so now that we looked at the uh, technical abilities let's go to intelligence and see which ones are the best ones here all right so the first one i want to recommend here called is called efficiency which is going to allow you to upload three or more Damians into the same breach protocol, increasing the cyber deck RAM recovery rate by three units per 60 seconds. And it's going to last five minutes. Really important. Once you get into hacking in this game, which is actually pretty good, you guys are definitely going to want to make sure you uh, check out the skill tree and try to figure it out how you can outperform them the best way possible. If you guys don't know how to hack definitely check out my hacking tutorial video. It's going to give you a kind of make it everything easy for you guys. So, Efficiency is definitely S tier for me. Let's take a look at the other one, which is going to be compression, which is kind of right next to it. It's going to reduce the length of sequence required to upload a Damien by one. Can cannot be reduced below two. So this is going to allow you to kind of have a cheat sheet where we're going to allow you to reduce that. Anything that allows you to reduce the hack is going to be extremely OP in my book. 
And the last one here I want to recommend is called Buffer Optimization, which is going to increase the duration of the Damien effect by 100%. So that means that if something's going to get hacked and it's going to last for 30 seconds to a minute, it's going to increase that duration by 100. Come on now. This is, this is too OP. It, it, it should be outlawed. Basically, the cameras are always going to be off. Lights are out every single time. So extremely important. Definitely keep it on here. Now let's go to quick hacking and see which ones are really OP here as well. The first one I want to recommend is Diffusion. This is actually pretty good because it increases the radius. So what it does is it says quick hack spread distance. It's increased by two times. Really cool. Really crazy. Definitely one you want to put in here. Really awesome. The next one I want to recommend here is called Critical Error. Quick hacks can now deal crit hits based on the crit chance and crit damage stats. So theoretically speaking, you're going to look at your character and your character if your crit chance and your crit damage is high, when you apply this crit critical error, it's going to base it upon whatever your crit chance and crit damage is on your character, which makes it extremely OP. And yes, guys, I have actually tried these in my other builds. So I'm, I'm telling you they're OP because I've tried them. So trust. The next one I want to recommend is optimization, which is actually pretty good. This is going to be extremely helpful when you're hacking because it's going to reduce the cost of, uh, of quick hacks by one ram unit so you're not gonna have to spend too many rams to actually hack someone it's gonna reduce the cost of that so it's really effective and allows you to do multiple quick hacks at once and the last one i want to recommend here is called bartmost legacy it's kind of like a cheat sheet basically it's gonna unlock crafting specs for legendary quick hacks which is extremely extremely cool so you guys are definitely gonna want to make sure you have that in your uh, in your inventory which quick hacking is gonna allow you to do a lot of really good stuff i think once more people play the game a lot of people are going to actually test this out and have a lot of fun with it. So now that we took that, I uh, took care of intelligence. Let's look at cool, which is kind of my favorite attribute uh, out of all of them. So let's go ahead and dive in here and talk about this one. All right, so we're going to start off with the first one. It's called cheat debt. When your health drops below 50%, reduce all income damage by 50% for 10 seconds. Cannot occur more than once per minute. So if you're damaged and you need to get your health back, it's going to not only increase your damage by 50 percent, so you're probably going to be able to finish that enemy but it's also going to be able to proc every one minute so it's actually pretty op and really good and that's what i want to recommend it's called venomous fang all knives apply poison <laughs> i mean come on your, your poison is pretty crazy in this thing and you're definitely if you're playing stealthy you're going to be using your knife a lot so definitely one that you want to consider the next one we have guys which fares perfectly with the one we just talked about is neurotoxin Damage from poison is doubled. So if, the, if it's ticking like 10%, it's going to go to 20%. Really OP, really crazy, especially with a nice build with knives. Oof, it gets dirty, boys. The next one, of course, is Nijitsu. This is actually pretty crazy because the majority of the time when you're playing stealth, you're going to be crouching a lot. So crouching attacks from stealth with melee weapons deal 100% more damage and guarantee a crit hit. Come on. That, that's going to give you a massive amount of help, especially when you're trying to you know take out multiple targets in a sequential fashion really op really crazy all right so now let's take a look at one of my favorite one my favorite uh one to build on which is called the cold blood uh, i think a lot of people haven't messed around with this one if you have let me know in the comment section down below but this is actually pretty op there's so much synergy in this tree that you guys are definitely going to want to make sure you tap into let's start off with the first one which is called cold blood so what exactly does cold blood do after defeating an enemy so after you kill someone you're going to gain a thing called cold blood for 10 seconds and increase movement speed by 2% stacks up to three times. So the reason why you want to unlock this is because you want to make sure you get that cold blood proccing every single time. The next one I recommend here, which I think is extremely OP, is that it increases the duration of cold blood by 10 seconds. So you're getting the 10, 10 seconds here and you're getting 20 seconds here. It's going to stack up to three times. So that's going to give you a lot of 60 seconds basically it's going to give you 60 seconds a minute of having cold blood which is pretty crazy once we pair it with the other stuff then we're going to go to this one which makes it crazy crazy especially with hand cannons pistols this is crazy goods which is going to increase your headshot damage by 50 percent yes guys 50 percent <laughs> i'm not my line 50 percent it says right there 50 percent yes 100 percent. a lot of headshot damage right there 50 percent boys just by applying this one. The next one, guys, is cold and calculating. What this is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to land a crit hit and has a 25% chance of applying a stack of cold blood, which is extremely crazy because the stack of cold blood gets crazy, crazy OP when you pair it with other stuff. So every time you get a crit, uh, a crit hit, 
It's going to give you a 25% chance to apply cold blood. The next one I want to recommend is called Unbreakable. What this is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to increase the max, stat amount, the max stack of cold blood by one. So the more cold blood you have, the better it's going to be for you guys. So definitely, definitely, definitely have to have this one in here. The next one I want to recommend is called Defensive Clothing, which is going to allow you to increase your armor by 20% per stack of cold blood. So you guys are seeing the synergy here, guys. Not only are you going to be doing more damage, you're going to be getting your health back, your armor back by applying cold blood. Cold blood is actually pretty, pretty crazy. But overall, in general, guys, those are the best, best perks in every single category. I know there are some A tier ones that are actually pretty good and they fare very well. But I think if you guys select these particular ones, if you are kind of you know putting your points into this uh, attribute, you guys are going to be fairly good because those are the best ones you could possibly pick. And of course, synergize the rest of the uh, you know other perks that are going to help you build that nice, beautiful build. But now you guys have a kind of like a a cheat sheet, a, a, you kind of like a cheat where you guys can look and reference this video and know what are the best perks. And based on these perks, make an assumption onto what other perks to pick up. I do hope you guys are finding these videos helpful and informative. If you are doing the huge favor, guys, drop a comment, drop a like. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.